Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity, and thank you for welcoming all of us back from the long distance that we have been having. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, I'm standing before this honorable house to give an also motion uh, on the proposed removal from always by management of the Deputy Governor of Kinsey County uh, and for appearance of doubt and for the first state members in the gallery. My name is Honorable uh, Wickley uh, the member representing the people of the Chile world. Honorable Speaker, I beg to give notes of the following motion. I read that at Code 181, subsection 1, A and C, and at Code 75 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, section 3 of the Current Government Act 2012, as read together with the Kissy County Assembly Standing Orders, embarrassed this House to remove the Deputy Governor from office. Further aware that the Deputy Governor, Honorable Dr. Robert Onsari Mona, has duly failed to uphold the order of office and instead he has grossly violated the Constitution of Kenya as accused the office and his conduct is wanting. Now, therefore, the House resolves that Honorable Robert Onsari Mona be removed from office by enrichment, person to Article 101 of the Constitution of Kenya, Section 30 of the Common Government Act 2012, and standing in order number 61 on the following charges. Uh, charge 1, gross violation of the Constitution or any other law. Charge 2, abuse of office. Charge 3, gross misconduct. And charge 4, crimes under national law. I have appended my signature and it's dated 13th of February 2024. Uh, Mr. Speaker, person to our standing orders, uh, standing order number 60, subsection 3, uh, I hereby give a seven days notice calling for the impeachment of the good governor. Uh, attached here to uh, it is a list of signatures because I have money to talk to my colleagues. And for a purpose of doubt, a total of uh, 51 members of the Kissy County Assembly have appended their signatures in support of my motion. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, uh, thank you for the opportunity, and I also want to welcome my colleagues back to this session. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I'm requiring, because uh, this is a, a motion of removal uh, for, for the DG from the office, is it the, the duty of the role the, the, of the house business to allow time, or is it the, for the clerk to verify the signatures and uh, the procedure? Whether, whether the mover uh, is procedural on the on, on the move on, on the motion, it is procedural that those business must allow time for any motion or any activity. My name is Karen Magara, a member of the Counter Assembly of Kisi. This morning, a motion has been tabled to remove from office the deputy governor. We have started the process of impeachment and we are asking that we are going to follow the due process. Allegations have been read in the assembly 
and we want to assure the public that we are going to ensure that the process is followed to the letter and that we are going to ensure that fairness, even to the accused DG, is going to be respected. We have started the process this morning. We are going, of course, to give him uh, time for him to come and defend himself. So we are only saying to the public that even the chief officers should be chief officers, the ministers. This is a process that has started to ensure that service delivery is going to be to the people of Kisi County. You cannot be given a responsibility as the deputy governor and then you are not taking your work serious. So we have started this process and we are going to ensure that the process is going to be followed to the letter and 51 members of the counter. Actually, Koba representing the people of the Czech world. So as you can see, today uh, a notice of motion has been put before the house and the notice of the motion is specific <laughs> on uh, allegations whereby the deputy governor has been accused on various grounds. I want to say that as honorable members of the Kisi Count Assembly, we shall look at those allegations keenly and uh, we shall give Honorable Dr. Monda an opportunity to defend himself and clear the air whether he has committed all those allegations or not. On this matter, the County Assembly of Kisi is doing its duty of oversight. So I'm asking our Governor, Honorable His Excellency Paul Simbarati to keep off, to keep aside give the assembly time to do its duty, let him not interfere, because this matter is touching on his office. I'm also asking the CECs and chief officers who are not working, who are, who are involving themselves in corruption deals and activities, that their, their, their time is coming, so they should change. If a motion of, this, of such kind comes before the assembly, we shall, look at, we shall look at it keenly and send them home so that we can give people an opportunity to serve the people of Kisi County uh, diligently. Thank you. I'm Philip Silcha, the MC of Chukumot. And uh, this morning, uh, I've just uh, given a notice of a motion for the removal of the office of the uh, deputy governor uh, for Kisi County government, uh, His Excellency Dr. Robert Mouzari. I may not be able to comment much, but only maybe to highlight uh, that uh, the violations that he has done and one is that he has been able 2010 of Kenya. Uh, number two, he has abused his office. Uh, number three, uh, he has committed uh, crimes uh, under the national law or laws. And uh, number four, his uh, code of conduct or conduct as a deputy governor is really wanted. So I may not be able to uh, uh, digest uh, much of the, 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 the accusations because uh, you know this is a process and uh, we don't want uh, to start uh, uh, to preempt, uh, let the due process uh, be followed because you know this is a legal, uh, a legal issue uh, and it must follow all the laid down procedures, uh, both in the, the 2010 Constitution of Kenya and also uh, as part, the Lawrence Passwords to uh, standing orders.